Ukrainian general predicts Russian invasion date. Ukrainian general claims that Russian tanks and troops are just weeks away from crossing the border with Ukraine, igniting a full-scale conflict across the continent. Lieutenant General Alexander Pavlyuk said in an interview published on Saturday in the British Daily The Times that the invasion may take place in the days after the Winter Olympics, which will be hosted in Beijing next month. February 20 is a date that concerns us, he added, claiming Russian President Vladimir Putin would not want to offend China by threatening war. This day also marks the conclusion of joint Russian-Belarusian military maneuvers along the Ukrainian border. Although Russia has superior military capabilities, Pavlyuk, who fought in the Soviet armed forces during the closing years of the Soviet Union, is confident in his forces' capacity to battle against the bigger country. Nearly 500,000 individuals in our nation are veterans of war, having either lost a loved one or something important to them. The Russians are ready to be torn apart by a half million people who have lost loved ones, lost their homes, or lost their friends. After the first significant casualties, they won't go any farther, he said if our intelligence is successful in predicting the path of the main Russian attack. It is clear to Putin that his army may cease to exist if it suffers too many fatalities. You can't put your faith in your gut here. Cold calculation is the key word here. Ukrainian and Western authorities have been warning of an impending Russian invasion for months, citing Moscow's reported army deployments near the Ukrainian border. The Kremlin has rejected any aggressive ambitions, arguing that it is only relocating soldiers inside its own borders, and has sought for security arrangements with NATO, the US-led military alliance. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a televised speech that the possibility of an invasion had not increased despite Pavlyuk's warning. He went on to say, it's getting more attention now. Also on Monday, Alexei Danilov, Kiev's National Security Council secretary, attempted to minimize the danger by referring to Western media, fear, as, geopolitical and domestic. It's not as fast as some people say, he said.